Just go to 18 if you can find a spot there. Hey, fellas. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do, right? Absolutely. Have, uh, have Waleed do the cooking. You're working on your duck? Yeah, so I've, I've rendered the duck down. Uh, I've got my torchard tempering. I've got the sauce hot. I've got the vegetables blanched. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the plate. Boy, you're prepared, eh? Always. Always prepared. He's like a boy scout. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that's the chocolate so, sauce? Yeah, so this is essentially a veal stock base that we reduced by, uh, by, by half. Right. And it's demi glace, and then we threw in some 76% chocolate. Uh, this chocolate in particular is from Olivia. Uh, chocolate's a local chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you know those guys. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. Yeah, right? Dave McDonald, love them. Uh, he meticulously chooses all of his cocoa beans, so he's changed cocoa beans now. They're it's, very uh, particular. Very particular. So yeah. he's chosen a Peruvian chocolate bean from Toche. Oh, the Peruvians and their chocolate beans. Yeah. I like that. Nice. So a little stripe of that on the plate. Just for a little bit of glue. Yeah. And then we're going to take the duck and okay. carve it. Yeah. Now, you're all sold out, Matthew, from what I hear, but there may be an opening here and there, eh? Yeah, we've had a few late calls for cancellations, uh, hopefully uh, for the positive, and, uh, and we've also got the last minute people trying to yeah. make it in. Nice uh, to be booked up on Valentine's. It's very nice. I mean, uh, just like New Year's is one of those special days that you, you want to make sure yeah. that everyone's getting what they need. And I don't think you need to, to just go to Restaurant 18 on Valentine's Day. I mean, there are other days in the year. Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean, with uh, the talented kitchen we have, uh, the food's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, you know. You guys always got something going on there too. We do. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, wine dinners uh, soon as well. Uh, we have a champagne dinner coming up. Oh yeah. Five course uh, dinner, and uh, at the end of uh, next month. So. Nice. Nice. Yeah. You've selected a wine for the duck dish. That's right? correct. Yeah. And which wine is it again? So it's it's a it's a Valpolicella blend from uh, north of Verona, done in a Repasso style. So mm -hmm. it's uh, basically a wine that's been passed through uh, dried grapes, which helps uh, helps the wine to give it uh, a bit more richness. Yeah, it's full yeah. body flavor, right? Very much that so. Yeah. Full body. Yeah. Okay. Now you've got some interesting items on the plate here. I want to I want to show people a couple of things. So these are the these are poached banana pears. Banana pears that we got from one of our suppliers. Uh, we've tossed that with a little bit of uh, vanilla bean and maple syrup. Right. And the maple syrup is fun. Is one of the best maple syrups in the country. Is um, that right? Yeah. You use top quality. Top quality all the time. Oh, no expenses. Yeah. No expenses spared. Mm, that's nice. Oh. That's just, that's just the bottom of the torchon. Just give it a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of depth. Nice. And what's that? Torchon. That's the salt. Uh, well, it's a curing process for uh, foie gras. Mm -hmm. Instead of serving it hot and seared, we're serving it cold. Okay. What else happens? Uh, that's just cured with brown sugar and calvados. Okay. And so far, we've got the duck, which has been spice stock. Right. Chocolate torche sauce on the bottom. Gotcha. The torchon, and I'm pulling out the torchier. The torchier, which is the duck leg. So we've got duck liver, duck breast, and now we're going to take the duck ah. legs. Ah. And that's been tossed with the clove, um, star anise, yeah. and juniper berries. That looks beautiful. <clears throat> and now what are you doing? And now we got a little bit of kale. All right. That's beautiful kale, eh? The purple, I love that. Nice, nice color. So you use a little bit of that. Yeah, and these are called crones. These are just added to the plate for a little bit of texture. What are they? Uh, they're from the artichoke family, um, most commonly known as the Chinese or Asian artichoke. Right. Uh, these Can are I try one? Do they have flavor? Yeah, absolutely. They've right. just been blanched and salted. Uh, okay. That's what they look like. Okay. And blanched and salted, that's it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's tasty. Pretty good crunch. Yeah, that's nice. I like that texture. Mm -hmm. You didn't even see me cook them through the magic of television. I know. <laughs> it is magic around here. There's no question about it. Excellent. And then just a little bit of garnish to... So here we have a mix of sunflower cress. Right. And we have a mix of... And shiso, which yeah. is uh, from the mid family. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. When you go into a restaurant like this, and it's a nice and beautiful restaurant 18, it's a, a very nice dinner, it's Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. do I want to eat all the things on the plate? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Sometimes you look at it and you go, should I be eating that, or is that a garnish? Nothing, nothing that touches our plates is not edible. just a pretty pretty it up, or whatever, but you want to eat it. Nothing on our plates, plates are not edible. Everything's edible. I don't believe in non-edible garnishes. Good to know, because you don't want to make that horrific error. No. You know. <laughs> Eating a thing that you shouldn't be eating that's just there for decoration or whatever. And we're just going to finish with a little bit of Malden salt. Malden salt? Yeah, Malden's from, uh, from Malden, England. Right. Uh, it's one of the most superior salts out. Yeah. And like I said, no expenses spared. Beautiful. What a nice looking dish and a beautiful wine to go with it, eh? Absolutely. Everybody who's going tomorrow night uh, for Valentine's in for a fantastic evening. We're ready we for hope a busy so. weekend. Yeah, you guys treat, uh, treat the customer right. I like that. Absolutely. That's nice. Thanks for coming by, fellas. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us. How do you eat the tortier? Uh, however you want it. Like this? Go I would ahead. do that. Do it. I would, yeah. Totally yeah, do I would do that. Bye.
Why we have that? Mmm. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Our pleasure. Thank Good you. See you.